Hey, my name is Jeremy, and this presentation is on utilizing open source imaging tools to re image a machine. I'll use imaging time to explain more of the background of the program, but first let's get started on this restoration. And I'm deleting that file there so we have something to verify that the restoration was successful. The program I'm using is called Clonezilla, and it runs on a Linux live open source CD. So right now I'm just telling the computer to boot from the CD drive. Here's the first menu that comes up and it just asks how you want to view it. I tell it default 800 by 600. Now this is the Linux Live CD booting the operating system. It normally takes about 45 seconds but we've just shortened the time for the purpose of this video. Here are your options for languages. There's quite a few to choose from, but we go with English. This wants you to tell it how to interpret the key map. That's just how the operating system interprets keystrokes. Don't touch the key map is just fine. I tell it to start Clonezilla. I don't want to get into the shell. And we want to partition the entire disk, not just image a partition. Now it's asking what device are you going to be loading the image from. It's a local device. We're using an external USB hard drive. And now it's asking to pick the source device, the device that you will be getting the image from. It's asking for the directory of the file that it's going to be restoring. I give it the root directory because it can find it through the subfolders. And we choose beginner mode because I don't have enough experience to use expert mode. Now we're going to restore an image to a local disk. It found the image that I wanted to use. And now it's asking for the device drive that we're going to paste that image on. It asks you twice, are you sure you want to do this? It's going to overwrite all the information, everything will be lost. Tell it yes, tell it yes. Alright, so now it's starting to work on pasting that image to the hard drive. Again, the program I'm using is called Clonezilla. It's an open source program, so it's completely free for commercial business use. This is an individual imaging software. There is a program it's called Clonezilla Server Edition. It works much of the same way. The only requirement for that program is that it has to be running on a DBRL server, which is a Linux server. You can just partition a little space on a server, install this operating system, and use this specifically for that purpose. The server edition of Clonezilla can multicast up to 40 images on 40 different machines at the same time. The only downside of Clonezilla is the downside of every other imaging software that is not Norton Ghost. The images that it creates are about twice the size of Norton Ghost images, but again, every other program has that downfall, free or not free. So Clonezilla does just as good as any other software besides Norton Ghost, and it's 100% free. And I'll just speed up the rest of this imaging time here. Okay, now that it's done, it's syncing up with the kernel on the Windows operating system to let it know, hey, all the hardware here is fine. Now it's asking if we want to reboot, so we tell it to reboot. Now it's unloading the operating system. And on this reboot, I'm going to go into the BIOS and tell the computer to make sure that it's booting from the internal hard drive and not from the CD drive so we get caught in a loop with, with Clonezilla. So we're good on the hard drive. We'll just save that change. Tell it to reboot again, and I'm going to speed up the Windows loading time here a little bit. Look at that, blazing fast. All 
All right, you can see that the resolution has changed back to the default 800 by 600, and that file I deleted, which was on the image, is back. Clone was successful. Everything's done. Again, open source program, completely free for anybody to use, and it works very well.